what to see, what to rent, and what to skip. It's movie reviews with Ryan J. That's right. We're back now with the great and powerful film critic <laughs> Ryan J. I like you. that. He is it's a, powerful. It's a play on The Wizard of Oz. I know. Which you just got back from the Midwest Oz Fest. I right? did. It was fantastic last weekend in Tinley Park, Illinois. Odyssey Fun Farm puts on a wonderful weekend. This was the second annual, and since I promoted on the show, some Morning Blend viewers came down to visit. Aww. This is Sue and Sam. I'd like to give Hi, them a Sue shout. Sue and Sam. They are loyal viewers of the Blend. So hello to them. Thanks for coming down to see me. That's cool. I did love you wear red all shoes? Stuff. Maybe. Yeah, uh, I just had it. <laughs> He's got the coolest ruby I slippers. Bet. Let's break down the movies that are starting because I know we got a lot to get yes. through. So, The Hollers, PG 13. This is a fantastic dramedy. It's a gem of a movie directed by and starring John Krasinski, My who's boyfriend. delightful. He assembled such a beautiful cast for this movie. Okay. And All right. Now, is this his first time directing and starring at the same time? No, it's his second time directing. Second time. Okay. Oh, my gosh. So, what's your rating? Well, it's a see it, but I got to tell you, there was a new emotion that this movie created in me. Mm -hmm. It's the first time ever that I experienced happiness and sadness at the same time. Not like a normal roller coaster. Okay. You actually can feel it at the same time. It's remarkable. I, you'll, you've never felt it before, but see this movie. It's fantastic. And we met, what, sorry, I just have to remember Margo her Margo Martindale. Margo, yes. we met her at the Critics' Choice. We did. She was delightful. She was great. She plays his mom in this film and I also just met John I, I he was in Chicago doing a press tour so I got to sit down sit down and talk to him about this movie and he's just such a nice guy married to Emily Blunt so take a look at the interview ice cream and pretzels one of my mom's favorite things hey how about heart attacks is that one of her favorite things too you have a problem with me what's different for you as an actor when you're directing yourself well it's interesting for this movie in particular being an actor was bizarrely helpful because when a movie is this intimate and this organic about a family, you don't want to break the zone by saying cut and running behind a television monitor to see whether it's right or wrong. Good actors after a take will be the first people to say, I didn't get it, I want to go again, I know what to do differently. So you just get out of their way. So it was really almost more of like a play. We were trying to make a small play that happened, you know, you just hope the cameras were in the right spot. Was there anything that turned out differently in the film than how you had imagined it as a director? Like any happy accidents? Yeah, I mean the happy accident is Margot Martindale or Richard Jenkins because what Margot does in the emotional moments, and I don't want to give it away, but I never imagined that someone would be able to go to the depths and the reality of the situation like she did. I like Rebecca. She's pushy. Yeah. Men need to be pushed. That's not acting. She completely went to some unbelievably uh, special, personal, primal place, and I just was so honored that she would do that in my movie. We've got Anna Kendrick, Josh Groban, you're there. Where's the musical number? Well, thank God I didn't sing. I mean, I sang really? a little bit, but uh, I think I'm scientifically the worst singer on, on earth. I think it's been proven. There's a thing as auto-tune. Is there? Right? See, I, I just prefer lip syncing, because then you just, you know, you don't need any... You've cornered uh, the market yeah, on exactly. lip syncing. Yeah, exactly. I cornered the market, yeah. <laughs> you know, he and his wife are produced Lip Sync Battle. Yes. So that no. great show. So that's what I threw that oh, in. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Great, tremendously great. successful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Great, great movie. Interview. The Hollers is excellent. Okay. Well, I want to talk Bridget Jones because I love Bridget Jones. I love Renee Zellweger and any mm -hmm. face that she has on. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what it's going to be. But. So this is Bridget Jones's baby. Mm -hmm. Yes. 12 years after The Edge of Reason. This one's much better. And let's just Good. get it out of the way. Whatever she's had done has settled in. Yeah. She looks fantastic in this film. And I laughed out loud more in this movie than I do in most straightforward comedies. Why do you think this still works? Because she's still very endearing. The yeah. character mm -hmm. is relatable. She's humble, she's clumsy, she's fun, and it's a fun love triangle. We've got, we're have got torn between two daddies here. Okay. You've got McDreamy, Patrick Dempsey, who's love just him. charming, and then that great chemistry with Colin Firth as ever. So this is another see it. It's a beautiful film. Okay. You know, I saw a clip of her talking to Emma Thompson, who plays her OB. Yes. And that is the best It's hilarious. <laughs> Emma Thompson is so good in this. I think that she must have improvised. She's hilarious. She did. Oh, she was it. like a geriatric. Hilarious. Player. Yeah, exactly. Oh, right. Love it. See it. Thank you. Snowden rated R. Directed mm -hmm. by Oliver Stone, who's really the king of the biopic. And mm -hmm. it stars Joseph Gordon-Levitt, who does a fantastic job. And it's about the, you know, the true story of the whistleblower. And the real Edward Snowden was a part of the production on this film. Okay, so how's the cast? It's incredible. Joseph is outstanding. He really changed his voice for the character. I don't know how he accomplished that, but like every 10 minutes, another A-lister pops up. You've got Shailene Woodley, Zachary Quinto, Melissa Leo, Scott Eastwood, even Nicolas Cage, who's making a return yep. to the big screen after All like right. 10 years direct of DVD, <laughs> right? Gotta pay off yeah. some taxes. <laughs> <laughs> and it raises a lot of political questions. I Absolutely. Mean, you know, do we have a right to privacy or do we give up that privacy to government? Do they have the right to take it away all in the name of national security? It's a great movie to see and talk about it after. See it. It's Oscar caliber. May make some nominations. Perfect. This. Last one. Blair Rich. Uh, Blair 
Blair Witch, rated R. Right, and uh, you know, it's 17 years after the movie yeah. Blair Witch Project, which Old really time. is credited with creating the new subgenre of horror with the shaky cam and yeah. found footage. And oh, it's still shaky. Yes, it's still shaky. It's still super annoying to watch. It's better than the original, but not as scary. Okay, so See, I know you love to be scared. I do. So uh, all the all the jumps are just very manipulative, and the ending is a climax that doesn't really pay off very much. So this one's one to rent. You all don't right. have to run out to see it. Oh, this is so good to know. Yes. Is it, but uh, you also have a giveaway, don't I you? I do. Like, is there a secret yeah. that we can all... New on DVD and Blu-ray this week is Captain America Civil War. Okay. It was the whole Team Cap versus yeah. you know, Team Iron Man. It's great. And I'm giving away free digital download copies. So go to my website, RyanJReviews.com, to enter to win your free copy. Movie Club. Movie Club. It is The Magnificent Seven. It's a remake. This one Love with Denzel it. Washington. Go to my website. It is Tuesday, September 20th at 7 p.m. And I have lots of seats to give away to this one. So hope you can join me right. at that event. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you, too. You're the best. All right. Oh, you can like Ryan you. J on Facebook. Follow him on Twitter. And for his full movie reviews, check out his website, RyanJReviews.com.